Epic Minigames is a Roblox game on Roblox where players play through various types of minigames, all with its own mechanics, aesthetics, gameplay experiences, and more. Players that win minigames are awarded with coins, which you can use in their shop. In the shop, you can customize your character with pets, titles, effects, and more. Of course, there is more to the game. Some of its contents can be found mysterious, weird, and interesting. And thus, there must be a place to store all of this info for new and old players to read over. Indeed, there is an Epic Minigames Wikipedia site that serves that purpose. But what if we categorize these topics within an iceberg chart? What is an iceberg chart, you may ask? Iceberg charts sorts facts and theories from a piece of media by obscurity, usually the most commonly known subjects near the tip of the iceberg, and the lesser known subjects being near the abyss. The images used on the side of the chart are there to separate the categories and often get more ominous and disturbing the deeper the chart gets. You can find countless iceberg chart related videos on YouTube. These videos not only cover Roblox related topics, but also beyond it into other sources of media. Usually, those types of iceberg videos are longer in length due to the mass amounts of topics are inputted into the charts. But since we're talking about Roblox Epic Minigames, please expect that this chart won't be as massive as the others, as topics are limited and Epic Minigames isn't widely known on Roblox, let alone the media itself. <laughs> I will also briefly explain most topics and not go too in-depth about it, unless it's less heard from the public. Anyways, here is the iceberg chart that I made. Yes, I am aware that there are other iceberg charts out there that cover epic minigames as well, but I feel much more comfortable having the chart organized in my own fashion. Plus, some of the other charts have too many similar topics branched across all tiers, and it would sound repetitive going over them again and again. Even then, it's simply impossible to fit every topic within this iceberg chart, as it would go on for several hours of narrating. So there's another reason for bunching some of these topics together. Also yes, 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 I'm aware that I previously made a video going over a separate Epic Minigames iceberg chart a while back, but looking at it, I feel that more topics could have been elaborated in there, and to be honest, that chart back then looked quite small. I didn't make that chart by the way, so yeah. This video is going to be a revised version of the Roblox Epic Minigames Iceberg Chart review. Another disclaimer is that even with the dozens of hours spent doing research, there might be some errors here and there so please don't attack me for those, we are all not perfect. Anyways. Special thanks to the link sources and a couple of my friends for providing me with context for some of these topics as I'm not a brainiac for epic minigames whatsoever. With all the provided context and disclaimers out of the way, welcome viewers to another Insights series special from my channel, by yours truly, Insights Beep. This is the Roblox Epic Minigames Iceberg Tier List Revised. Typical Games This is the name of a Roblox development group studio behind the Epic Minigames experience. This group has also made several other Roblox games, such as The Crusher, Energy Assault, Silent Assassin, Castle Clash, and more. At the time of recording, the development group consists of a chief managing director, three developers, two technologists, and various contributors. The name Typical Games derives from the founder and current owner, typical type. Community Maps In Epic Minigames, there are minigame maps made by the community, aka players or contributors. Back in the old days, there was a time when only the developers of TG were creating maps for minigames. Nowadays, that job mainly relies on the community. Of course, once in a while, the developers of TG would step in to build a map, whether it's their own 
or to assist a builder from the community, or if the developers are cooking up a new minigame. Seasonal Maps Slash Minigames There are some minigames that are featured in the game during a certain holiday. For some minigames, they have a holiday variation. Here are a few examples as shown on a screen. Social Media Codes Occasionally, usually during special occasions, holidays, and milestones, a Twitter code is announced on Typical Type's Twitter account or within the TG Discord server. That code can be redeemed for a limited time in-game prizes. Or, in a very, very rare chance, never expire. Game Passes In Epic Minigames, there are 8 Game Passes as of recording, with the occasional bundle Game Passes that come around during holidays or other special occasions. The Bundle Game Pass consists of exclusive in-game items that can only be obtained by purchasing the Game Pass via Robux. For the permanent Game Passes, I will also go into detail. The Double Coin simply earns you twice the amount of coins you earn from winning minigames. The Illumina turns your sword into a much more powerful sword, with a different design, when it comes to minigames containing swords. Due to how rigged sword fighting is and how the Illumina doesn't always function properly, I wouldn't consider purchasing this game pass as pay to win. The second effect gives you an option to equip two effects at once. The 4x controller chance gives you a higher chance of becoming a controller for any controller themed minigame. The second pet game pass says it all, just like the effects one. VIP gives you the following contents within its description. Private server powers simply gives you the power and a list of commands to fiddle around within your own VIP server. And finally, Party Premium unlocks the row of exclusive Epic Party rewards within the Epic Party rewards. Secret Rooms in Current Lobby Just like any other in-game Roblox lobby, secrets lurk within them. Though there is one particular secret room that I have trouble wrapping my head around of how to actually visit it, which is the playing room, but that's saved for another topic further down the iceberg chart. Game Nights One of the community events within Epic Minigames. Game Nights are where a group of players gather together in a massive Game Night server to compete to earn limited time in-game prizes. For more info on that, watch my Game Night video. Seasons Seasons are one of the most prominent updates to come around for Epic Minigames. A season contains a star shop with limited time in-game items, a seasonal slash weekly leaderboards, and a battle pass. They occur once every season, spring, summer, fall, winter. You earn stars by completing daily and weekly season missions in which you can redeem them within the star shop. You can compete for wins within the season's weekly and seasonal leaderboards to obtain more exclusive prizes and more. Epic Party Epic Party is a game mode in Epic Minigames. Epic Party is a board game style game mode where players can play minigames in a new and fun way, where they will compete to get as many crystals as possible through board game maps to get to the top spot. Think of the Mario Party concept. These days, it's mainly a haven for grinders to farm wins for weak leaderboards during seasons. Also, Epic Party almost never receives new content updates, but there has been word that sometime in the summer of 2024, new content would finally be delivered to that game mode. Energy Assault Pets Abbreviated to EA, the red and blue trooper pets in Epic Minigames can be obtained via playing Energy Assault, another Roblox game developed by Typical Games. You obtain the blue trooper by reaching level 50 in EA, and the red trooper by reaching level 100. I've made a video covering this specific topic. Old Epic Pass Between Season 1 and 4, there was a game pass called Epic Pass. The function of it is that it unlocks the bottom star shop. 
and allows the eligibility of players to enter the weekly and seasonal leaderboard, I think? From Season 5 and beyond, the Star Shop is publicly accessible and a Game Pass no longer exists. Cactus with Man Face An epic party, specifically in the map called Highland Canyon, whenever the intermission pops up, a cactus with a man face is seen in the background. It's probably there for humorous intent. Minigame changes. This topic simply refers to name slash map design slash functionality changes across several minigames, most notably Black Hole Scramble. Ah, good old times with a horrendous minigame. Roblox events. Back when Roblox did collaborations with non-sponsored Roblox games, they hosted various events, some of which are holidays slash special occasions. Some are sponsoring a movie. This topic refers to all of the Roblox events Epic Minigames took part in. Examples are Kids Choice Awards 2018, Smurfs The Lost Village, Roblox Summer Camp 2016, DuckTales, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Roblox Holiday 2015, Metaverse Champions, Roblox Acon 2020, Roblox Acon 2019, and Space Battle. Sources to those events with more in-depth information about them are posted in the video's description box. Broken slash bugged gears. This is mostly prevalent in Epic Minigames weekly shop rotations. Sometimes you can dupe gears when equipping slash unequipping. Sometimes it has zero function. Sometimes it causes a player to die. One of the notable bug gears is a ham gear duping itself. Holiday Lobbies This topic refers to the lobby changes it goes through when a certain holiday or special occasion occurs. Examples are Easter, Game Milestone Celebrations, Halloween, and Christmas. Archery Simulator Players that visit the Void Room and enter the portal will be teleported to an abandoned Roblox game by a typical games called Archery Simulator. You can obtain in-game items via that Roblox game into Epic Minigames. Some players recognize this game's existence in 2019. I think back then, typical types saw the ever-growing similar games appearing on the front page of Roblox, and I guess he decided to hop on a bandwagon of the similar genre. Well, that ended up turning into a flop. Remove Troll Mask You can find this troll mask in one of the hidden rooms in the lobby. It has been replaced with Bazin's as part of the Old Man NPC quests. To this day, it's not found anywhere. If you can confirm its whereabouts, let us know in the comments below. Random Wall Clip This is separate from the secret rooms within the lobby because I feel the developers didn't intend on adding this. But they kept it in the game anyways, since it's nothing game-breaking. Basically, there's a little crevice in the lobby that you can adjust your avatar into as shown on your screen. Now that we got into the most common well-known topics out of the way for this iceberg, let's dive deeper into Tier 3, where only some individuals are familiar with these upcoming topics. Arctic Testing Typical Games has a Roblox game dedicated for testing purposes for Epic Minigames. Usually, a Roblox user named Azartic leads these testing sessions. To prevent myself from spoiling a potential game updates, I won't showcase what's currently in a testing server, unless it's close to the public. Season 2 Ending In the end of Season 2 of Epic Minigames, a bizarre, unexpected short live event occurred where the top 10 seasonal trophy enlarged itself in the lobby in front of the ocean side. This process lasted within the last few days of the season, but when the season was over, it shot out a massive coin to the lobby, teleporting the players within the game into a white room collecting coins until they were teleported back and the season concluded. Dead Holiday NPCs On rare instances, when you load into the server during a holiday update, that had an NPC sitting in a lobby, whether it be the Easter Bunny or a Santa, its body becomes disassembled onto the ground. It is probably caused by a server loading issue 
or someone using in-game exploits to harm the NPC. I have seen this for myself, but never bothered to take a screenshot of it, and I can't find it anywhere online. Massive Servers During Epic Minigames' 1 billion visit update, they added a feature called Massive Servers. They are larger than large servers, yeah, that's about it for them. Castle Climb Monster, Hallrog. The moment you reach the top of the default Castle Climb map, if you turn your camera backwards, you should see the Hallrog. It is also rumored that you can see the Hallrog in the minigame called Spiral Ascent, the default map, if you didn't load in fully. Unfortunately for me, I'm not a professional gamer enough to capture a snapshot of it. Roblox Sweater Merch For every Halloween and Christmas, typical games produce a new limited time Roblox shirt. They are reskinned every year. That's all there is to say. Secret Rooms in Old Lobbies Yes indeed, in the previous versions of the lobby have their own secrets as well. Displayed on your screen is some footage from other YouTubers that caught the moments of stepping into these old secret rooms. Linked Maps Easter Egg One example of this is Wackablock's stone map. The creator's intent here is to let players know that these two maps are made by the same creator. If you have found other examples, share them in the comments below. Zombie Ripple in the minigame Undead Aboard, there is a small chance a Roblox player called Ripple, in a zombie-like form, comes aboard that you can kill. The meaning behind this is that Ripple owned a Roblox game called Ripple Minigames that has since been discontinued as he got banned from the platform. SA Playing Room in both new and old lobbies So, about that secret playing room, it changes into the old lobby remains room and I have yet to exactly figure out for myself. I think when you visit the secret playing room at midnight your time, the room will transform into the old Epic Minigames lobby, and if you visit outside the hours of midnight, it will turn into the playing room. Now, why is there a playing room? I guess it's there to promote their Silent Assassin Roblox game, or have references linking to those two games. Anyways, feel free to correct me in the comments if what I said about finding the playing room is incorrect. Typical Toy In the past, Roblox released a toy called the Typical Toy Toy. The toy is Typical's old Roblox avatar, the rainbow version of him. You were able to get this toy from buying a Blind Bag Series 3 toy from a local retail store, to have its slight chance of getting it. Once you got it, you would have to redeem a code, and then hop into Epic Minigames. Once you have done that, you were able to get the typical toy gear. When you click while holding it, it hugs you and produces a blocks and gear sound but slowed. Can spook kids with these? Ogre in Leaderboard Room the name says it all. It's probably there because it's either one of Steel's characters that he made on Roblox, or he found it somewhere on a separate game. This has never been brought up by anyone, which is why I feel it deserves to be in this iceberg. Epic Mini Experiences During the time when Roblox forced Roblox games to be considered as experiences, Epic Mini games tagged along by renaming their game temporarily as Epic Mini Experiences. This lasted about a week or so during May of 2021. Old Lights On One of the most notable minigame changes that's quite old. In the past, you were able to move your character and camera around on the new minigame, Lights Out. It was harder because you had to time the jumps. It is now in 2D mode, and you're unable to move your camera around. Monster Islands this is a Roblox game made by the Steel Eagle, a lead developer for Epic Minigames. This is his most notable side project, and there are in-game references of Epic Minigames. At the time of recording, Steel has plans to publish one more final update before discontinuing it. The game description reads, Five armies, known as the Monster Forces, 
have invaded the world. Join up with their retaliation and help fight and stop the war to save the world from the clutches of an ancient enemy. Remove Spleef Lobby We don't know why this was removed, but we hope to see its return someday. Colossal Bosses in Hallrog Origins These creatures come from Monster Islands, a game made by Steel Eagle like how we mentioned earlier. Some creatures and items found in this game were also later added in Epic Minigames. Alright, now we're getting into some surreal topics revolving around Epic Minigames. Laser Cutting Neon Map Laser Cutting Neon Map was a made by Arsimate. The map was removed because it was eye straining, hurting your eyes in the process of playing in it. The reason why it has this dedicated topic is how eye straining it became to players the longer the players stared into the map as they timed their jumps through lasers. Green and Purple Teams Green and Purple Teams used to be a thing back in the good old days of minigames. There were teams in the minigame, protect the statue. There was red and blue teams, and green and purple teams. But then the green and purple teams were later removed for unknown reasons. Probably because it was unnecessary to have it in the first place when there's already red and blue sides. Infinite Coins Game Pass The Infinite Coin Game Pass was a game pass where you're able to buy when the game first came out. Later on, Typical type removed it because, well, it literally gave you an infinite amount of coins, and you're able to buy everything within the in-game shop without worrying about your coin balance. Pet Simulator X Collab Rumor A couple of years ago, there were rumors floating around the Typical Games Discord server about there being a collaboration with Epic Minigames and another game made by Build in Two Games, aka Preston, called Pet Simulator X. The rumor originated when the former moderator for Typical Games became a moderator for Preston Games as well, which is the studio behind the Pet Simulator X game. Yeah, it's stupid, but that's Discord communities for ya. Worthy Shining Kazoo Demotion For those that don't know this user, Worthy Shining Kazoo used to be a partner developer alongside Typical Type during the times when Epic Mini Games first opened to the public. Over half a decade later, he slowly backed away from the public eye, but still occasionally developed for the team. Unfortunately, later on, word got around within the TG about questionable allegations revolving around Worthy Shining Kazoo. As a result, Typical Type encouraged Worthy to step down. I'm not sure if Typical found out the truth about the alleged claims, but if he did, he would probably keep it quiet to not add public shame onto Worthy which is reasonable. Several months later, Worthy left the TG Discord server. To this day, he remains as a contributor slash notable. Hard to obtain titles. This topic refers to some of the in-game titles that are extremely challenging to obtain within Epic Minigames, such as Millionaire, Leader, Rodis Winner, and Paladin. Exclusive Badges. This topic refers to badges within Epic Minigames that used to be obtainable, but are no longer possible to collect. Yes, Epic Win, Cat Noir So Cute There is a user on Roblox called Cat Noir So Cute that would occasionally repeat the phrase of Cat Noir So Cute within Epic Minigames and within the TG server. There is no clear reason as to why they do this. If their attention is for attention, then congrats. You're on the iceberg, pal. We have finally reached the last tier on this iceberg. The ocean floor. At this point, some topics here might seem odd, slightly disturbing or questionable, or simply unbeknownst to the general public. Brace yourselves. The water pressure is extremely high down here.
Red Green Blend. Red Green Blend used to be a very old minigame in Epic Minigames when it first came out. It had the same elements as Mechanical Mayhem, but it was way harder to win in it. With the difficulty being so high for an average player, it got removed. Old Mini Arctic Game Night Pet An old yet very minor change within Epic Minigames is pets. This was when Arctic had his old avatar which was green, and when he changed it, he got his in-game pet updated. This pet is exclusive to earn via Game Nights. Random letters found on rocks in the lobby. In the lobby, on two rocks, you are able to find the letters Q and S. We don't know why these two letters are here, and we're not sure if we'll ever get to know them. Are these small hints that lead to a massive update in the far future? Is it just something the developers added for fun but forgot to remove them? Have we missed a specific time in Epic Minigames where these letters had a use? Screaming Sound Origin Short answer, we don't know where it originally came from. If you visit the void room under the lobby and turn up your in-game volume, it can be heard. What do you think the sound could be? Why is it there? This is something that needs to be kept hidden deep within the iceberg due to its obscure and disturbing nature. River Rafting Minigame A very broken minigame that was very short-lived. You ride on a raft, traverse through a cave, and reach the end. It lived so shortly, and with the minigame being completely non-functional, no matter what the developers did, it deserved a unique place on this chart. Level Limit Is there a certain limit players can reach in game? I mean, levels are the main encouragement of players to keep playing and coming back. So levels should remain infinite, right? Or maybe not. Even if someone reaches level 1000, the numbers go beyond that. And at that point, farming levels become extremely tedious. So we may never know if there is a certain limit out there or if levels are defined endless. If you ask me for an answer to this theory, I could provide a simple explanation to you. Don't farm levels and get a life. I'm just kidding. Do what you want that pleasures you, as long as it's healthy to you. This has been the entire Epic Minigames Iceberg created by me. I can't believe I sat and looked at my transcript screen while talking to the mic for over an hour. I literally had to book a time of day during my spare time to make the recording happen. Yeah, a lot of effort has been put into this video, so if you'd like to support, please feel free to subscribe and like the video. Special thanks to a couple of my friends and the sources linked in the description box below for assisting me with researching some of these topics. All referred resources are linked in there as well. I had a ton of fun narrating, making a transcript, researching, editing, and publishing this final mega video for my Epic Minigames' content, and I dearly hope you found it enjoyable, informative, and interesting. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and peace.